Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain transfer function of RLC circuits. Here, I will solve two interesting problems. This is question number one and this is question number two. Here, I will explain identification of transfer function and identification of order of system. So, in first question, I will explain calculation of transfer function for given RLC circuit. To have a transfer function, first of all, we need to convert this circuit in Laplace domain. So here we have input V in of T in Laplace domain, it will be V in of S. Here we have output V O of T in Laplace domain, it is V O of S. This resistance R, that will be R only. Impedance of inductance, that will be L into S and impedance of capacitance that is 1 by SC. So using this Laplace domain, we can get transfer function. See to get transfer function, first of all, we need to consider zero initial condition. The reason is with this circuit, zero initial conditions are not given. So let us consider zero initial condition. Zero initial condition means at time t is equals to zero, energy inside inductor and capacitor is zero. So at T is equals to zero, energy inside capacitor is zero means voltage across capacitor is zero and energy inside inductor is zero means current through inductor that is also zero. See transfer function that is a ratio of output to input. So transfer function is T of S that is ratio of output V O S divided by V in of S, right? Now I'll explain you calculation of transfer function. To identify transfer function, here I will apply voltage divider rule. If you apply voltage divider rule over here, then output voltage V O of S that will be input voltage that is V in of S into impedance of this element across which we are measuring voltage. So impedance of capacitance that is 1 by SC divided by total impedance. Here total impedance is R plus impedance of inductor that is LS plus impedance of capacitor that is 1 by SC. Now here see transfer function that is a ratio of output to input. So VOS divided by V in of S that is transfer function, right? And here we need to simplify this. So here if you take LCM of SC, then from numerator and denominator SC is getting cancelled and in numerator we will be having 1 and in denominator here with LS this SC is getting multiplied. So we will be having LC into S square plus with R, SC is getting multiplied. So RC into S and here we will be having plus 1. So this is transfer function of this RLC circuit. Now here there are a few basics that you need to understand. If you carefully observe this, here we have S square term right in denominator. So what it explains? See S square explains here order of system that is 2. So here with this circuit, order of circuit is 2. So here denominator equation that is having order 2 means this circuit that is having order 2 and that can be identified by second another way. See here with this circuit, we have two elements. This is element which is inductor that can store energy and this is second element that is capacitor that can also store energy. See inductor can store energy in form of magnetic field and capacitor can store energy in form of electric field. So here we have effectively two elements which can store energy. That's why order of system is 2. Let me note down that. So in given circuit, 
we have two effective element that can store energy that's why order of system is two so there are two ways from which we can identify order of system c1 is by having transfer function in transfer function denominator equation that is having order two that's why one can say order of the system is two and second way is by having identification of effective elements which can store energy we can identify order of the system here we have two elements so we can say order of the system is two but here there are few issues that is happening with students let me resolve those issues see in second question here we need to identify order of circuit now with this question if you carefully observe we have three inductors and two capacitors so you might be saying like here we are having in total phi elements which can store energy so order of the system is phi if you solve it in this way then you will be getting false answer see here you need to understand this here three inductors are there in series so here we will be having equivalent inductance right so if you observe here we have three inductance in series so equivalent inductance that you need to consider so effectively you can say we have only one inductor right so equivalent inductance with series combination that is l1 plus l2 plus l3 and here we have two capacitors and these two capacitors are there in parallel so effective capacitance that we need to consider so here effective capacitance for parallel combination that is c1 plus c2 right so instead of phi element you can say here we have effectively two elements which can store energy so with this we have second order system right we don't have phi order system here effectively we have two and elements which can store energy right and if you want to verify that by having a transfer function then you can replace this as l equivalent and you can replace this as c equivalent so that will be similar to this circuit here we have l and here we have c so here we can replace this by equivalent model of l and c so in that situation you will be getting transfer function that transfer function that will be v o of s divided by v in of s and in that transfer function you see with this transfer function instead of l now we will be having l equivalent and instead of c now we will be having c equivalent right so now your transfer function over here that will be 1 divided by l equivalent c equivalent into s square plus r into c equivalent into s plus 1 so if you carefully observe here in denominator we have s square term means order of the system that is 2 so directly by observing circuit one can identify order of the system but in that you need to see whether equivalent inductance and equivalent capacitance is possible or not to identify equivalent inductance and equivalent capacitance you can use series parallel rules by which you can identify equ effective equivalent inductance and capacitances and based on that one can identify order of the circuit right i hope now you are having fair enough idea about how to identify order and how to identify transfer function of rlc circuit still if you have any questions just post that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video